this is going to be great. I'm going to do some new segments. You know, I'm going to workshop them here on the internet site with the videos. And then I'll per perfect them so that when I do the live show coming up, it's it's going to be, I'm going to be in top form. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. Jeremy, do not do this. This is foolishness. Oh, come on now, Scott. You worry too much, you silly goose. Jeremy, you can't cook. Oh, come on now, Scott. Don't be silly. Now, I do I do appreciate your concern. Absolutely. I, you know, I value that so much about you, Scott, that you care so much. Just don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm going to start filming now, okay? Jeremy, you're got. Don't do that. That's not how knife safety works. Scott, I am perfectly safe. I would never do anything that isn't perfectly safe. You're, you're just worrying too much, Scotters. You are going to you are going to get get into a sword fight with yourself. So just you know, make sure you don't talk too much or make make too much noise in there because we we want to get a. Clean recording for me and John to, to edit later. Jeremy, I am not responsible for any damage or nonsense you cause. He's a creative genius. A multimedia master. Okay, everybody. Uh, hey, it's, it's Jeremy Kellerman here. And this is sort of a little test run for what's going to be shown in my new live appearance coming up. I got to get ready for that. So uh, I'm going to show you a new a new segment I come up with here. Uh, it's called uh, How to Make the Kellerman Salad. Uh, now this is something I kind of cooked up, no pun intended, uh, whenever I found out my good friend Mariana Cummings, who's a great cook, a great chef, couldn't be there uh, at the, the taping of my next show. Uh, so... I decided to just sort of do my own thing. You know, I'm always innovating. I'm always coming up with great new ideas. And I thought it would be really fun to come up with a new type of food. And so I thought, why not salad? You know, it's healthy. It's fun. It's colorful. So uh, I got uh, two different kinds of lettuce here. Uh, I got the green lettuce and I got the purple lettuce. Uh, now, you got to make sure that the lettuce is fresh and delicious. So, you know, check one, check two, you know, we're all good. Uh, now, you know, the, the key to any good salad, besides the, the dressing, is uh, that it's chopped correctly. You know, you want to have a great plating. Uh, you want to be uh, re really, like, creative in how you prep the leaves. So, I put some thought into that, and I was thinking, you know, uh, what can I do to make this unique? So I got my, my trusty knife here. This is a great uh, knife for salad. Uh, I don't know exactly what the name is. I've had it in the family for a number of years and uh, certain things have gotten a little bit fuzzy on it. It's a little faded, but it's it's as sharp as ever. You know, I keep it in great sharpened condition. So um, what I want to show all of you is that in order to prepare the Kellerman salad... Uh, you have to prepare it in a unique, creative way. And I found a really uh, interesting tip recently that said that uh, the sharper knife you use and the faster you go, the the better you'll prepare your, your food. It'll be more efficient, it'll look better, and it'll taste better. And so I was thinking, you know, what can I do as an innovator to innovate on that tip? And I realized, you know... Uh, and, you know, not everybody feels this way, but I, I find that, you know, most people, you know, they go like that. They they put the, the knife down and they, they take their time or do something like that, you know. I realize that for me, it, it works better to do like this kind of motion, like towards me. It makes, I don't know, it's just something about the grip makes it work a lot better. It's it's a lot faster. And I think this is going to be a, a great uh, new way to prepare a salad. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, make sure you roll up your sleeves and you get your nice fresh lettuce and you kind of like, kind of like rear back and then just one swift s slice like a samurai through the, the cabbage or the lettuce or whatever you have 
uh, for your salad and just like one swift motion through to yourself uh, towards towards your, your stomach or chest area. Now, of course, you want to be safe. You, you don't want to go too far. So you got to make sure you're somebody with really good, quick reflexes. But, you know, if you time it just right, you are going to have a salad in no time. So let's do it, okay? Let's, let's, let's get this going. One, two, three. Scott! Scott! Jeremy? Jeremy, what did you do? Scott, I have a problem. I got a little problem. Oh, gravity. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Jeremy, what? Oh, oh my God. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, I'm bleeding. Oh. Oh. I, I, I seem to be losing a, a lot of juice. Scott, I, I made <laughs> My juice is, oh. is, 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 it's, it's, oh. it's, out, it's out there, oh. frozen. I'm sure I, I mean, oh. I nipped myself. Oh. I, I, feel oh. like I might be, I might be going to throw up. I, I feel like I'm going to pass out. And, you know, maybe I'll just take a nap for a little second here. I can, I'm a hot, ah. I'm a hot, God, I don't feel real good. I, I just said I don't feel real good. Jeremy, why did you do this? Jeremy, why did you do this? I told you it was a bad idea. I told you it was a bad idea. Oh, Jeremy. Why did you do this? You heard me, I can't stop throwing up. Jeremy, I, I feel like we're in the David Lynch short film, Six Men Getting Sick, except there's four people missing. broken. <laughs> 